Okay, so we want to continue to look at smoothing of data. So in the last video we looked at median smoothing and we can only apply median smoothing if we use an odd number of points. So three points, five points, seven points, etc. Um, because, well, we could do it if we had even points, but it wouldn't correspond to a data point because the median of an even number of points is somewhere between two data points. Um, so we're only going to look at odd point median smoothing. We're going to look at odd and even point mean smoothing of data of time series data. And so today we're just going to consider the situation where we're going to smooth an odd number of points by using means. Okay. Um, we'll see why that's quite a different um, beast to looking at an even number of points when we look at the next video. Okay, so it's a similar um, process except that instead of finding the median of the three points, we find the mean, average, add them together and divide them by three. Um, of the response variable using the surrounding points. So whilst it's a really similar process, the calculation of the mean is more intensive than the calculation of the median. So the median, we can work out which points the median just by eye on the graph, it's the middle one, okay? Whereas the mean, we're gonna actually need to calculate points. Um, so it's just a bit more time consuming, but the process is otherwise very similar. So three point mean smoothing involves replacing each data value with the mean of that data value and the data value either side of it, which gives us three points in total to average. So when we use three mean smoothing, it's not possible to smooth the first and last data points, again, because we don't have a point to the left of the first point and we don't have a point to the right of the last point. So we can't um, use that point as a middle point. So we have a data set here. Um, we've got the time series plot of that data also drawn here. I've also got this data drawn out in a table that's going to help me to calculate my mean. Okay, Sometimes they're called moving means, um, just the way some people refer to it. So as I said, we can't find the smooth value for day one, okay, because, or time one, it doesn't tell us what this data is actually about. Um, because there isn't a point before that. So the first point that we're going to be able to calculate the smooth mean value is for day two, okay? Because we can then average days one, two, and three. All right, so what we're doing here is we're looking at days one, two, and three. We're taking those three Y values, averaging them. So adding them together, 12 plus 10 plus 15, and dividing them by three to find that the mean smoothed value the three point mean smooth value for day two is 12.3, okay? So on our data plot, day two, just watching your scale here, so 12.3, we're gonna have our smooth point go somewhere here. Okay, then looking at smoothing for day three, which means we look at days two, three, and four to find the smooth value for day three. So we average 10, 15, and 13, which is what we're doing here and we average them by adding them together and dividing by three, and we get 12.7. Okay, so on day three, the mean smoothed value is 12.7. So I've probably got my 12.3 a bit high up there. 12.7. Okay, then we look at day smooth, the mean smooth value for day four, which means considering days three, four, and five, averaging the Y values for those three days, which we do here, and we get for day four, the mean three-point mean smoothed value is 14.7. So 14.7, so somewhere up here. Okay, again, we repeat the process for day five, which means considering days four, five, and six, averaging those Y values corresponding to those, those three days, which we do by adding them together, 13 plus 16 plus 13, and dividing them by three, which gives us a mean smoothed value of 14 for day five. Okay, day six, or hour six, or week six, whatever, it doesn't give us give us units for time. Let's just stick with days, it makes it easy to think about them. So day six, we're gonna look at days five and seven as well. We're gonna average the Y values for those three data points by adding them together, 16 plus 13 plus 18, dividing them by three, giving us 15.7. So the mean smoothed value for day six is 15.7. 15.7, so it's going to be somewhere up here. Day 7, again, thinking about the days either side of that, so 6, 7 and 8, averaging their three Y values by adding them together, 13 plus 18 plus 21, dividing by 3 to give a mean smoothed value of 17.3 for day 7. 
And finally, mean smoothing for day 8, thinking about days 7, 8 and 9, averaging their three y values, 18 plus 21 plus 19 divided by 3 gives a mean smooth value for day 18, sorry, day 8 of 19.3. So 19.3, somewhere up there. So again, we want to join our points using a straight, using straight lines. Sorry, I don't have a ruler, but please do use a ruler to get our um, mean smoothed plot, three point mean smoothed plot. And again, I mean, we could see an upward trend in the original data here, but we can clearly see an upward trend after the smoothing. Okay, so if we did five point mean smoothing, that would mean that each time we need to calculate the mean of five numbers, not three numbers. Okay, so that means that we cannot calculate a five point mean smoothed value for day one because that would need us to have data for two days after day one and also two days before day one, which we're missing. Okay, so we also can't calculate the means five point mean smoothed value for day two because again, that would need us to have two days after day two and two days before day two, which we're missing one of those. So the first day that we can calculate the five point mean smoothed value is for day, sorry, I'm just increasing my pen, uh, width is for day three. And we're going to use five days centered around day three. So two days before day three and two days after day three, which means we're looking at these five data values. So for day five, Sorry, for day three, we're going to average those five data values. So we're going to have 12 plus 10 plus 15 plus 13 plus 16, dividing by five to get our five point mean smoothed value. Okay, so 12 plus 10 plus 15 plus 13 plus 16, dividing by five gives us 13.2. Okay, so then we look at day four. So day four means looking at two days before day four and two days after day four. So these five data values are what we're going to need to average to find the mean smoothed point. So we're going to have 10 plus 15 plus 13 plus 16 plus 13 divided by five. Okay. So 10 plus 15 plus 13, plus 16, plus 13, divided by five is 13.4. And that would be our five point mean smoothed value for day four. Sometimes in an exam, you'll just be asked to find a particular value for one particular day. So understanding how to calculate that for day five, that means using days three, four, five, six, and seven, if it's five point mean smoothing, so averaging the five y values that correspond to that point, okay? So that is 15 plus 13 plus 16 plus 13 plus 18 divided by five. 15 plus 13 plus 16 plus 13 plus 18 divided by five. Is exactly 15 and again continuing for the next couple of points so we're looking at day 6 which means looking at days 4 5 6 and 7 averaging the data values that correspond to those days okay so this time looking at sorry uh, 13 plus 16 plus 13 plus 18 plus 21 Dividing by 5, 13 plus 16, sorry, 13 plus 16 plus 13 plus 18 plus 21, divide by 5, 16.2. And finally, the last point we can calculate is for, I'm just going to use another colour rather than change my pen nib is for days seven, eight, and nine, which means looking at the Y values for those, which means averaging those 16 plus 13 plus 18 plus 21 plus 19, dividing by five, which is, 
oops, sorry. 16 plus 13 plus 18 plus 21 plus 19 divided by 5. Oops, control enter, sorry. 17.4. Okay, and so we get now our five smooth data values, which is what we're actually going to plot. Okay, so for day three, the smooth, the mean smoothed value is 13.2. So day three, 13.2, somewhere sort of here. Okay, 13.4 for day four, so just a bit higher up. Probably getting, might just make those both a bit lower. 13.2 a bit lower, 13.4 a bit higher than that, but yeah, anyway, not more than halfway. Uh, 15 for day 5, 16.2 for day 6, so 16 there, so a bit past there, and 17.4 for day 7, so it's just a bit lower than that actual point. Okay, and then again, using a ruler, the edge of your CAS lid, join your points up with straight line, and we get a clear upward trend happening. Obviously, you know, we've now gone from a plot which had nine points to a plot that only has five points. Um, so it's becoming a bit of a non-existent plot. But we're talking about a strategy that would apply across much larger plots. We're just looking at how to actually execute that. So exercise 6B, these are the questions in which you have odd point mean smoothing.